Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. A little bit late tonight, guys. It's uh my time here, it's 20 minutes till 10. Uh, but I just haven't felt that good all day long. I've been on the drag for two or three days. And I thought I would come and do a video for you guys. Um and let you know what I'm up to this evening. I feel a little bit better. Uh guys, a lot of people have been asking me about that. Um my, my goat get Maggie giving birth um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do an update video tomorrow for you guys um, I'm not gonna say how it went right now on here uh, I'll do that tomorrow I just wanted to I wanted to do this kit uh, review with you guys right now so I'll, I'll do the uh, Maggie my alpine goat she was giving labor I'll do that try to do that review on uh, or well that update rather on her tomorrow I see some spots on this girl I've had her for a while guys okay guys this is a kit that I'm going to paint she is very beautiful uh, she is old I'm not real sure how old she is guys but her face was a little bit warped but I've just about got that out of it but you know heating it up I do see a few spots here and there I washed her up I've had her for a while that has just not come off ever so I'm gonna take her back in there I'm gonna take some well I'm gonna take some alcohol and wash her down in again but you can see how pretty she is look she's gonna make a beautiful baby guys I did open up her nose now I've had this done for a while like I said and when I done this this was back when I was open up the nose I don't open up the nose now because guys it a lot of people wanted the nose opened up but uh, I got to it makes it look more realistic and then I put like purple felt in here behind it uh, to make it look dark and it did make it look more realistic but I just don't do that anymore, guys. It just got too much of a headache. Uh, you've got to be really, really careful when you're doing it. I used a Dremel tool. And you have to be... Uh, it's a Dremel. It's a little tiny drill. And um, you have to be really careful. You mess them up. And I messed up so many when I first started it. And that's a loss to me, you know. I either have to chunk the kit or um, sell it as a boo-boo and sell it as a loss. So I just decided after that I wasn't going to do any more of those. Um, you know, I just wasn't going to do it. And so, I still had this one that I hadn't finished yet. So, she does have an open up nose, and I will put felt in behind it and all that. But I wanted you guys to see her. This is the Lucinda kit. Very beautiful girl. Uh, she is sculpted by Marib Maribel Villanova. She was a limited edition of 300, and I'm pretty sure you can't get her anymore. She's, I don't know how old she is, guys, but there's her little certificate. And it says it comes from WWW, Simply Reborns, uh, ITD in the UK. So, her name is Lucinda. She's, her sculptor is Maribel Villanova. Now, I don't know how true it is, guys, but I did hear someone say one time that they thought that Maribel Villanova had passed away from cancer. Now, I don't know how true that is, guys. That may, you know, don't quote me on that. Uh, I really need to do some more research into it. I've had this kit for a while, so I really couldn't say. But anyway, she's a real orangey kit. Some of the older vinyl. She's not, her head's not super hard, but kind of, but it, it'd be kind of hard to root. And her vinyl is not the softest in the world. It's like some of the older vinyl. She does have three-quarter limbs, arms and legs. But I am going to reborn her, and I am going to put her up for sale, I think. If nobody claims her, of course, I'll keep her. She's going to be gorgeous, guys. She's really pretty. She looks like she's got a little bit of a tilt to her head, to the left, just a slight tilt. Um, oh, she's gorgeous. She's got beautiful big lips. See the lips? Gorgeous, beautiful big lips. Now, her, her vinyl is the older vinyl, so it has real orangey color to it. But I will be doing her with layers of white to tone that down and bring her down to a white. And then I'll start painting her. So she's going to have to have, starting off first thing, guys, she's going to have to have uh, several layers of the uh, white. I just use white. A lot of people use blues and greens and all that to tone down that. I don't. I just use pure, just plain white um, paint, the, just the white Genesis paint and some thinner. And I use several layers until I get it down pale enough till I want it. Excuse me. 
and then I start painting it guys so putting the color on it uh, so anyway she will be for sale she is an older kit I'm gonna do some more research into her guys and see about this there were only 300 kits of this made and I know this kits completely gone you can't get it but now uh, I was thinking like I said somebody had said something about this lady that done the sculpting about her passing away from cancer but now, I'm not real sure on that, guys. Don't quote me on that as being true, because it may not be. I'm going to have to go back and check it and make sure. But anyway, there she is. I'm going to redo her. I'm going to reborn her, rather. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm going to start the process right now of putting layer after layer after layer of white paint on her, guys. I will tell you one more thing, guys. I got up my ceiling fan today, up over my paint table. And I had bought me a, you know, I told you on another video there that I had found me a, just almost a brand new looking chandelier and a brand new ceiling fan. And I found those at thrift stores and I got my brand new ceiling fan for $25. You can't beat that, guys. You go to Lowe's and price them. And it's one of the big ones, too, with five, fan, uh, five blades. And uh, you can't beat that. So it's got four lights in it. And when I, we finally got it up today. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we had a time getting that thing up. But we did get it up today. And I put the daylight bulbs in it. And you would not believe the light I have over my painting table now. In the daylight bulbs. Oh, it's excellent. I'm going to be able to see the colors so well. And guys, that's a real crucial thing. And when you're painting uh, the reborn babies is to have really, really good light lighting guys because um you know it's just it's hard to see you know i want to show you this too i got these cosmetic wedges i don't know how they're going to work but they're the bigger ones and i got them from walgreens they had them on sale for they're just natural rubber latex uh, sponges cosmetic wedges but they're the bigger ones and i got these they only had two packs left and i got these for like they're 16 in a pack. They were like three dollars and some a pack. They had only the two packs they were selling out, and I got them for like a dollar and some a pack. So I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna show you these. How big they are. They're colored, but we don't care. They do the same job. See that? They're the bigger ones. So I'm gonna try these out and see what I come up with, guys. And they see how they work. Hopefully they will not be the ones that are just real um uh, you know, real puffed up when they get liquid in them. They'll just absolutely explode, you know, and be like two times bigger than what they are. Those just don't work good for me when I'm reborning. But anyway, guys, I wanted you to see see her. I'm going to be, I'm rambling. Uh, I will do that follow-up video tomorrow on my goat Maggie, my alpine goat, and her labor. What happened? I'll let you guys in on it tomorrow. I'll do a video and let you know how it went. And, um, so yeah, I guess that's it. And I want to let you know that I have got my new lights up. And, uh, as I was saying, the lighting, I got sidetracked. The lighting is very important when you're painting these dolls, guys. Because you can be, like, in here before when I was in here, I couldn't hardly tell what was going on. You know what I mean? I mean, with the paint. And it's very hard to judge the paint, like... It'll look one way in here, it would, and then when I take it outside, it'll look a completely different way. It may be too red or something. So, I managed to get this up, and I'm right over my table. It's got four bulbs, and I managed to get me some of the real nice daylight bulbs to go up there. And so, yeah, I can see a lot better. But anyway, guys, this is who I'm working on next. I got River's hair coming in. I think I have him sold. Haven't heard from the mama, but... She assured me she would take him, so, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I hope she does, because she's a really nice person, guys. Really like her. She's really sweet. And, um, yeah, so, hopefully I'll hear from her soon with her deposit. I did get a deposit on Love Buggy today. Her, her deposit came through today, so she is sold. And River, I think, is sold, but she hasn't paid her deposit yet. So, maybe she will in the next few days, and he will be sold. I'm working on a Jenny Asleep, Bountiful Baby, Real Born Series. And she's a little blonde, going to be beautiful. Uh, I'm working on that one. I'm starting this one. I have the, uh, 
Oh gosh, guys, I've got so many in the works. I have a Lulu up there I need to start working on. So stay tuned for all that, guys. And, and please subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Invite all your, over all your friends and let them know that I do uh, make the Reborn dolls. And I do sell them. And I try to keep the prices very reasonable. And I do sell them. And that I do have layaway, too, that they can make deposit and then make payments. I say layaway. A lot of people don't know what that means. Payment plan. So they can pay them off in payments. I'm not real strict with the payments, guys. It, you know, people say, what do you what do you want for the payments each month? And like the deposit. Well, usually most people pay me at least $100 down as a deposit, a good faith deposit. But uh, I always tell people, if you can't afford that much, then just whatever you can afford is fine. If you'll just put a deposit down on them, which that deposit is non-refundable, guys. I don't set a limit on how long you've got to get it out. Uh, you know, so a lot of people say, well, you got to have it out within two payments, you know, or whatever. I don't do that. Uh, just as long as you need to pay it off, uh, you know, that's fine with me. As long as you at least pay me something each month when it comes due. Um, I also ask that if something does come up, and you can't, you possibly, you cannot even pay anything, not even $20 on it, to at least just let me know. I, I won't get mad, guys, I promise. I will not be one bit mad at you. Just let me know, though. Just, you know, message me and say, hey, uh, you know, I've had an unexpected bill come up, you know, whatever. Maybe the car needed tires, you know, uh, one of the kids got sick, uh, something at school came up whatever just just let me know and that's okay guys we can work it out as long as you'll talk to me and let me know and i don't require a certain time getting it out just whatever you can pay me each month i do this guys because i want everybody that wants a reborn baby to be able to have one if they want one i want them to be able to own one and i will work with you any way i can guys and so i guess that's it so uh, do that update video tomorrow. Sorry, I think I've repeated that three times. So sorry, guys. Um, I get to talking and I kind of <laughs> forget and repeat stuff, guys. Hey, what can I say? I'm getting older. I'm so sorry about that. Just, just look over me if I do that. Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, as always, thank you so much, guys. Each and every one of you, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if I have any new people here, new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to me. If I can help you, any of you in any way with getting you a reborn baby, please let me know. And I will try my best to work with you to get one. Even if you can't, you know, even if you can't pay $20 a month on it. Or $25 maybe. I'll, I'll work with you. And, um, so, uh, yeah. So I guess that's it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart. All my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, and all of my uh, the people that have bought from me, my customers, all the great reviews, all the sweet people who said nice things to me on here. Everybody on here has just always been so sweet. And I've, I've made a lot of good friends on here, guys, and I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. And so I'll see you soon in a new video. Thanks. Bye-bye.